Hey guys, this is Aaron. I want to take a look at a function that you may already have available to you as a part of the 2019 SketchUp Pro bundle. That is access to Trimble Connect. Now, Trimble Connect is not just that website or that option that's inside of the file menu inside of SketchUp. It's not just a place to stick files. It's actually a great collaboration tool that you could use right now if you're a subscriber. So I'm gonna do a real high level overview of the functionality of Trimble Connect. I highly recommend that if you do any sort of collaborative work or have any interest in any of the features we look at, that you dive deeper and look into some Trimble Connect videos to learn more about what's available to you. So let's go ahead and hop in right now. So I have a model right here. And the first thing I'm gonna do is to get this onto Connect is go to File, go to the Trimble Connect menu, and I'm going to publish it. You notice there's two separate options here, publish model and publish as. This is the same as save and save as. Publish model is just going to push it up new. If you have this saved once, publish model is going to push the new version up onto Trimble Connect. Publish as is going to ask you where you want to save it and what you want to name it as each time. So right now, it doesn't matter which one I click since this is the first time publishing. When I click that, it's going to pop me into my projects list. Now these are the projects that I already have that already exist on my Trimble Connect. So I have this SketchUp files folder. I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. And I'm just gonna go ahead and save. Now I'm gonna create a new folder. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna create something called uh, 2019 model. And I'm gonna go into that folder. And there's nothing in here right now because I just created it. So I'm gonna go ahead and publish model. Once that uploads, it comes and tells me, all right, publish successfully. I'm gonna click okay. And at this point, this file is now on Trimble Connect. So if I was to ever come in and make a change, so say I did something like, I don't know, deleted the whole roof off, I could go up to file, I could say Trimble Connect, publish the model again. It's not gonna ask me what I wanna save it as or where I wanna save it since I've already published it once before. What it's gonna do is overwrite the existing model as the active model in my folder that I had it published in. Once that's done, we can go take a look at what actually just happened by jumping into Trimble Connect. If I go to Trimble Connect, I have the option of opening a model from Trimble Connect. I can open up my collaboration manager. I can import a reference model, which will import a locked version of a file into my current SketchUp model or I can launch full Trimble Connect. Let's take a look at the Collaboration Manager real quick. The Collaboration Manager is sort of a toolbar for Trimble Connect information for the current model I have open. So right now it's gonna show me to-dos, comments, or files that are linked to this specific model. Right now I haven't created any, so we'll come back to, into this in a little bit after we've actually gone and created a few of these. But you can see I can look at to-dos, comments, or reference files associated with this model. I also have the ability to add them. So if I want to say, hey, I need to make sure that uh, that guy Aaron does this thing, and I can set a due date for it. Let's say that uh, I need this done by Valentine's Day. That sounds nice. Priority normal, assign to, and uh, I'm gonna search for people in the group, and the only one I'm gonna have in there is, of course, me. Along with this to-do, I could capture my view. So if I click Capture View, it's gonna take a shot of whatever's on my screen right now and put that in there. I'm gonna create that, and now I'll actually have a to-do in my list. The other thing I can add is a comment. So if I wanna come in here say there's no roof on this house, I could place that comment here. Anybody who is then active in this model could actually see these comments. Likewise, reference models will allow me to add, upload new files, or if they exist, download them. The fourth button on here is Trimble Connect. If I click this, it'll actually open a big window and let me into my full version of Trimble Connect. A quick note as that loads, if this is the first time using Trimble Connect, you will be asked to sign in with your Trimble ID and password. 
This should be the same Trimble ID and password that you use for your subscription, and it will activate the full Trimble Connect when you log in. All right, so once I'm in here, I'm gonna go into my SketchUp files, and I'm gonna go into my 2019 model. That's a folder. This is all navigatable just like a normal folder, and I can see all the files I have associated with this job. So if I click on one of them, in this case, my 2019 file that I just looked at, I'll see a couple things. Over here, I have a little image of what my model looks like and when the file was created and who made it, that sort of thing. I also have this option here, which is my activity. So in activity, I can actually see when things were changed. So my original upload happened here, then I updated the file here, and then I added comments here. I can click the comments and I can actually see the comments that I had put in there. The fourth icon shows revision history, so I can actually see the different versions that have been uploaded of this model. I can download or revert to any of these versions. You see they are automatically labeled with the version number two, so it's a nice way to automatically version your, your design history. As changes are made every time you upload, Trimble Connect will hold on to a copy of that model. If I go across the top here, I do have activity. It's going to show the same information that it showed before in the, in the small tab. I can also click on to-dos. This is going to show me all of the tasks that I currently have. The fourth tab, team, is going to allow me to create collaborators on this model. Right now, the only one I have is myself, but what I could do is I could actually invite additional team members to this which would give them access to the files and the data, the tasks, the to-dos, any other information I upload to the model, as well as create groups. In a full BIM model, I may have dozens or even hundreds of people who are going to touch a model throughout its lifespan. So creating groups lets me organize how many of those people are available to any given task or information. Groups are a great way to organize if you have more than just a few collaborators. Final tab, of course, is settings, and this is going to give me things like what kind of units I want to see and when I'm going to get notified of changes made to my job. So there we go. Hopefully something there is a tool that might help you in your design efforts or aid you in your collaborative workflow. If there is more you want to learn about Trimble Connect, we'll leave a link down in the description below to get to the main Trimble Connect website. Hopefully that helped you out. If you liked it, give us a like. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe. Best of all, though, leave us a comment. Let us know what you thought. We like making these kinds of videos, but we like making them a lot more when there's something that you want to see. Thank you.